<laughs> I feel like this should be right. It's hooked. All right, it's looking promising. You see it? You seeing it like I am? I am. Fantastic. <laughs> Yay! And then we close it. Too much. Yes. Boom. And. One, two, and three. Hold that like that. Are your eyes closed? No. Oh, okay. I got beady eyes. And one, two, and three. And one, two, and three. And one, two, and three. Scoot a little bit the opposite way, what I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this way? Yeah. Go back a little bit more. The other way. Scoot a little bit the other way. Opposite again. A little bit this way. Look at this way. I'm trying to get you like right in the middle. Okay. Between these two lights. Okay, we start running this way. Alright, get it back. Yep. And one. Lower your sunglasses just a little bit so I'm not in the reflection yet. <laughs> there you go. And one, two, and three. That's nice. Yeah. And one, two, three. And one. Oh, look back up. Yeah, yeah. One. One, two, and three. This video is sponsored by Walters Camera Repair. And if you have a camera in need of servicing or repair, make Walters your go-to shop for quality and fair pricing. Website in the description below and tell them Talia sent you. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that BTS of my first time shooting the Kawa 6 with my homeboy, Kareem. You know, I appreciate you every time you come through and you allow me to photograph you or you sing a little ditty for me, whatever. You are appreciated, my man. I'd also like to give a special shout out to Jay the Collector for sliding me his Kawa 6 so that I can get my hands on it and try her out for the first time. 
as soon as he told me that he had purchased a cow six, I was like, hey, a cow six? What's a cow six? <laughs> and so he put me on game. He let me know that the cow six rolled out as a competitor to the Hasselblad 500C. My girl that I keep on my right shoulder. Like my best friend. When he told me that, I got even more curious. I was like, yo, I have to try this camera out. I have to find out for myself what it does, how it performs, why it got rolled out with such a red carpet. And I wanted to know if it could really compete with the Hasselblad. So um, Jay let me borrow his Cow 6 and I did my thing. All right, so let's jump into discussion about the things that stood out to me most when I used the Cow 6 for the first time. Hand check. All right, so when I got my hands on this camera and I started shooting it, it felt strangely, weirdly familiar. That is because loading this camera was reminiscent to loading my Pentax X7, while shooting the camera was reminiscent to looking down in the viewfinder to shoot my house blood. So it was like a mesh. Two worlds colliding into this unique looking camera. This camera is definitely unique looking. To say this camera has the face that only a mother could love would be kind of accurate. And I don't think it's that insulting because the longer I held this camera, the longer I looked at this camera, the more I thought, you know, it's not unattractive. It's interesting looking. And once you can get to interesting looking, people want to pick you up. They want to see what you're about. Yeah, the Kawa 6 has an interesting look about her. But as far as usage in the hand goes, she had a familiar feel about her. For me, it felt pretty easy to use off the bat. I was familiar with both types of camera setups that I mentioned, and I kind of just flowed into it. And it was uh, a lot of fun to use because it didn't feel like I had a steep learning curve. Whereas when I initially got into medium format cameras, I definitely had a steep learning curve, especially when I started off on the RB67 and I kind of fumbled around because it was heavy, blocky, and I had to look through the viewfinder and do everything the opposite way. And I thought that was weird. So now that I have some time under my belt utilizing medium format cameras, it is less awkward to use cameras like the Cal 6. So yeah, I thought the camera felt good in my hand. I did a bit of research on this camera when I was uh, first learning about it because like I said, the rollout to be a competitor to the Hasselblad piqued my interest. So I did a little bit of digging and one of the forums I stumbled upon kind of talked about how when you shoot the Cal 6, it's best to kind of hold it by the lens because of the strong slap of the shutter, there can be some blurriness in the pictures. I definitely didn't want that to happen while I was shooting. So I made sure to put a hand on the lens each time I fired the shutter. Now, I don't know for a fact if this helped or not. I just know that my pictures were not unnecessarily blurry. And it could be a testament to me putting my hand there or it could just be because uh, the camera was fine. We'll never know. But if you have a cow six, let me know in the comments. Either way. Weight, four pounds. And you know, back in the day, I used to complain a lot about weight. You all know I'm partial to things not weighing too much because I'm a commuter who uses the backpack a lot. And I hate when things are so heavy, especially on like a long day shoot. But yeah, this girl was hefty. They say she's around four pounds, so if you have a cow of six or you're thinking about getting a cow of six, be ready to feel the burn in your biceps and to uh, appreciate her thickness like she should be appreciated. Glass. All right, so the pairing I had on the Cal 6 when I shot it was the 85 millimeter f2.8 lens. This is supposed to be one of the more popular lenses of the system, and I can see why. All the images that I took were very sharp. Sharp. It was sharp, like I'm from Boston. <laughs> I see why this lens gets a lot of hype. The images I took were very sharp and I was quite impressed. There's one shot in particular um, when I have Kareem in front of the downtown library and the building is kind of soft, out of focus. I think it looks beautiful. And when I saw that image, I was like, yes, this lens, it came through for me. And so I was quite impressed with uh, the outcome of that photo and it made me feel good. Like I did it right. So I gotta talk about the jam. You might have seen in the footage that I had a bit of a struggle. This struggle caught me off guard. I was not ready to struggle in this way. Now, Jay let me know that I might have some problems shooting this camera dealing with a jam. Now, I didn't see why this would happen. I looked at the camera correctly. I had got about, I don't know, about 
four frames off correctly. So for it to jam on me out of nowhere felt rude. It felt like a personal attack. And I was mad because I was flowing in this session with Kareem. I knew we were getting some good shots. And yeah, it, it stopped my flow. I called pause on the play. Is that a football term? Could be. So yeah, it messed up my flow with Kareem. So I had to pause the session and then quickly Google how to unjam a Cal 6. So luckily I had a jacket on that day. I kind of hid the camera in my jacket, but it was a sunny day out. I still kind of suspected that I may get some light leaks and I was already bummed about that. And then I also knew once I figured out how to advance the film and get it unjammed, I'll be losing some frames. So yeah, this was a tough one. I hate jams. I hate jams on color film. It's so expensive. I knew I should have shot a cheap film, a cheaper film. I should have shot some ultra fine extreme, man. I should have. You live and you learn, you know? You live and you learn. I ended up losing about five frames. Yeah, I did. I ended up losing about five frames. But if I really think about it, it's closer to six because my last frame came out looking like it had been traumatized. But I kept it anyway because it was like, you could see Kareem in the picture. So I was like, I might as well. It's only six shots. I'm not gonna get mad about this. I'm not gonna get mad about this because I've already been mad about it. I'm not gonna be mad about it anymore. It's done, it happened, we're moving on, okay? 2022, we're just getting started. So we're gonna keep going forward. Uh, learn from our mistakes and move forward. So yeah, the, the camera jammed. I got seven shots and uh, the last shot looks like a trauma victim, but it's still interesting in an artistic kind of way if you wanna look at it as such. Just know that if you have a Kawa 6, taken in regularly to get serviced. I read in a forum that jamming may occur when your Cow 6 hasn't been serviced regularly. So if you have one or you just bought one, take it in to get serviced to avoid the pain of a jam on color film. Life lessons. Price point. Right now in January, 2022, the Cow 6 is trending on eBay from between $175 all the way up to $160. This has a lot to do on which lens pairing you get with your Cal 6. And which viewfinder you have as well might have something to do with it. Although I don't think it should, honestly. If you're looking to get the same setup that I shot today, look to spend between 250 to about $450, depending on the condition of the camera that you purchase. Now, if I were getting into medium format for the first time and looking for an affordable, cheaper, medium format camera, I would look at this one, honestly. It would catch my attention. I'd be curious about it. I don't think I would be disappointed to have it either, given the sharp images that the camera produces and the affordability of it in terms of medium format photography today. But that's all relative, really. Know your pocket. Final thought. So after my first shoot with this camera, I felt bummed honestly i felt bummed the camera had jammed i knew i had lost frames so i wasn't hyped on this camera but before the jam happened i was hyped on this camera i was happy to be using the camera i felt optimistic about the uh, photos that i was taking and everything was all good in the hood so it wouldn't be fair for me to be like yo i don't get this cow six or forget this cow six because it jams no I wanted to give this Cal 6 another opportunity to impress me, another opportunity to show me what she was working with. And the only way I could really do that was to put it up against my Hasi. Because originally, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know if the Cal 6 had any competition for a girl. You guys know what I had to do. I put the Cal 6 and the Hasselblad 500C in a head-to-head -head battle. Make sure to check back next week to see how it all went down. Now, before you go, please do me a solid and hit that like button for me. Helps me out here on the YouTube. Tells the algorithm, hey, we want to see more from Talia. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel because I would love to have you. And I will see you in the next one. All right, everybody. Peace. All right, so let's jump into the things that stood out. All right, so let's jump into the things that stood out to me. I can do this. All right, so let's jump into the things that stood Ooh, can she do it?